Esports continues to grow in central Indiana with Butler ready to make a big splash in the gaming world. Yeah, the university's starting construction on a high tech esports arena that's being designed by the same people who create Olympic stadiums. Big stuff. Our Mike <laughs> Sullivan has more on what you can expect. Even the smallest pup gets too big for its cage, and the Butler Bulldogs. Oh, people. Are no different. Happily, I guess, we've outgrown this space. These dozens of computers, four short walls. Game crash? Currently house their eSports team at the Atherton Union. The fan base and the crowd certainly can't be a part in here cheering them on. It's too small, and the school's commitment to eSports. We've just launched an eSports communication minor. Is just too great. College of Communication mixed with uh, Lacey School of Business. So there'll be some courses on uh, production, um, sort of marketing, event management. Lee Farqua is entrenched in this ever-expanding esports curriculum on campus. Yeah. I'm going to go up to the recon vegan. Soon construction will begin on a new team arena and learning space called the Butler Esports Park. The facility itself is going to bring in, hopefully, more, more energy. Butler has nine varsity esports athletes. All right, I got my ultimate up. With a hundred more on club teams, we're attending these new esports courses. It's going to be state of the art and something completely new that doesn't exist um, on college campuses across the country right now. Brian Mirkin and Populous are behind the design of it. They are the brains behind Olympic venues, major stadiums, Camden Yards in, in Baltimore. Uh, we've designed Yankee Stadium. Construction will soon begin on Sunset Avenue, turning this space to the 7,500 square foot arena. There's a live audience um, that will be able to, to gather and cheer for their, their home team. With the flexibility to convert to class or lecture space at any time. Not only are you watching the action on the stage, but you're also watching the action in a digital screen. Like a jumbotron, turning the digital world into real life excitement. At Butler, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. The eSports park is expected to be open for the fall of 2022. Until then, the team will continue to compete at the Atherton Union.